In life, we all make mistakes. It's part of being human. I've certainly made my share of mistakes, and I know that I'll likely make more in the future. But despite my flaws and failures, I choose to love myself. The truth is, even when I fall short, it doesn't define who I am at my core. My mistakes are not a reflection of my worth. I'm still loved, and I'm still a good person. Deep down, I know this to be true. When you understand that God loves you unconditionally, you begin to experience a new kind of freedom. A freedom that releases you from the chains of shame. It's a freedom that allows you to love yourself in a healthy and balanced way. This self-love isn't about arrogance or pride. It's about accepting the person God created you to be with all your strengths and imperfections. When you start to truly love yourself, you'll find that others begin to appreciate and love you as well. Loving yourself is not about being self-centered or egotistical. It's about acknowledging your inherent worth and embracing your true identity. God created you with purpose, and accepting that truth is the foundation of genuine self-love. We all aspire to change and grow, to improve our behavior and become better versions of ourselves. But this change can only happen when we ourselves as we are, just as God made us. Emotional health and transformation come from this acceptance. When we love ourselves, we can overcome the shame and guilt that often hold us back. It's through this self-love that we find the strength to grow, to heal, and to become the person we were always meant to be. So don't hate yourself for your mistakes or your shortcomings. Instead, recognize that you are a work in progress, loved and valued just as you are. Embrace your journey with grace and self-compassion, knowing that you are worthy of love and capable of change.